Hello everyone, my name is Sophie Hen and I'm an author and an illustrator and I'm over the moon to be here on Moon Lane TV and I'm here to show you how to draw one of the characters from my latest fiction book which is called Pizzazz about a superhero who is also called Pizzazz but she's not that sure she wants to be super, she's a rather reluctant superhero. So I'm going to show you how to draw Pizzazz one step at a time, there's quite a lot to do but um, we're going to do it nice and slowly and one step at a time. And the joy of it being a video means you can stop it whenever you want to and, um, and then start it when you're ready. So we're going to need some paper and a pencil and away we go. So when I'm drawing pizzazz, I start by drawing her face. Um, but I start it in a rather weird way because um, of her hair. So I'll, I'll, I'll stop talking and show you. So what I do is very lightly, I draw like a large teardrop shape. Very lightly, not pressing too hard at all. Because this is going to become her face. I'll show you. So because Pizzazz has got hair flicking over her face, I'm going to do one little zigzag here like that. And then we'll do another one a little bit lower down like that. And then if we draw her two hair bobbles, oops, it's a rather large one there, and another two hair bobbles here, you can start to see where I'm going with this. So we'll draw this in a little bit more heavily because this is going to be her chin. Okay, and now I'm going to draw the top bit of her hair ring. So she's got quite big messy hair hasn't she pizzazz all part of her style and then we'll do another bit over here like that so a few little zigzags there we go so that's the top of her hair and we need the bottom of her bunches so we can just draw some more zigzags down like this and some more now you can see what i'm doing there we go another zigzag out like that, some nice messy bunches. And now I'm going to draw the rest of her body. So for her neck, we're just going to do two lines like that. And then the top of her cape comes across here like that. And then we can draw another line underneath it like that, because that's the sort of strap across the top of her cape. We can do a little button there that's holding her cape up. Now we're going to draw her t-shirt. And what's going to happen is the cape's going to come down this side like that. But her T-shirt, it's sort of, mm, it's a bit like a rectangle that flares out a bit at the bottom. So can you see I'm drawing a little rectangle that flares out a bit at the bottom there. And then we'll just give it a wibbly bottom bit like that. A little wibbly bottom bit because it's her messy untucked T-shirt. Now I'm going to add her shorts. And that's basically drawing two rectangles one rectangle like that and then we draw another rectangle oh coming out here like that I think should we color those shorts in because I've done a few lines so let's can shade those shorts in there we go make one whole big shorts shape now her shorts are actually orange so you can color yours in orange if you want to I'm just going to shade those in for now there we go, so we've got her shorts. And now we're going to add her legs. And Pizzazz, we're just going to draw two lines coming out of her shorts like that. There we go. I reckon to about mm, there. And then we'll do the same again over here. Oops. There we are, so we've got our two lines coming out now. We're going to draw Pizzazz's boots. Now to do that, I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Again, I'm going to draw it quite lightly. A rectangle shape there. And a rectangle over here. So just draw those nice and lightly like that. And then I'm going to draw a semicircle. So that's the front of her boots there, the toe of her boots. And then I'm going to draw a line across the bottom. And then another line under that. And just some lines there so we can see the soles of her shoe. And then we'll do exactly the same on the other side. So a semicircle, a line underneath, and then a line underneath that. And then we'll draw some little lines to go over those. 
um, to go along there to show the soles of her shoes. And now we're going to pay more attention to those rectangles and I'm going to shape them a little bit more like boots to so give them a little bit of a curve like that. There we go. And then a bit more of a curve there. And then I'm going to draw the tongue of her boots like that. And then the top bits there. So that's how I draw Pisaz's boots. Start with rectangles and then draw on top of them. And now we're going to give those boots some shoelaces or boot laces, I should say, like that. A little bit scruffy and messy. And Pizazz's socks. So she's got one sock down, of course. And then we just do some wibbly lines there to show a scrunched sock. Give it one little stripe. And then she's got one sock up. So we'll do this, that sock up like that. And we need to leave some space for the two stripes on her socks. Okay, so now we're going to add Pizazz's. We're going to draw one of her arms because the other one's going to be hidden by her cape. So we draw the top bit of her t-shirt sleeve here. So just like a little, sort of like a rectangle, isn't it? Tucked behind her t-shirt. And then we're gonna draw her arm. Now that comes round here like that. And then her hand, we're drawing her hand in her pocket handily. We can make her shorts a little bit bigger. So we're gonna do her hands are in her pocket. So then she's got her glove, hasn't she? She's got her pizzazz glove, which will colour in there. So she's got her hands in her pocket. There we go. Hoiking her t-shirt up a little bit. And then we're going to add um, the rest of her cape. So that's nice to draw. So we can draw a line that comes down here so we can see that that's what's covering up her arm. It comes all the way down to her feet. And then we just do a sort of like a wibbly line like that there. And then we do the outside of the, the line of her cape which sort of drops down and then it all sort of like scrunches and goes to a little point like that as it drags along beside her and then we can do the same on the other side just not quite so much a little bit less on that side a little bit of lopsided cape work here there we go and then we'll draw some lines behind that go behind her shoes so we can see that that's the back of her cape now we're going to add um, oh the stripes on Pizazz's t-shirt. So we just do a lightning bolt like that. And then we do the same again. <gasps> and the same again. So we've got her orange stripe and her green stripe like that. And now we're going to add Pizazz's facial features. So we're going to start with her eyes. And we've got one eye that's sort of poking out from behind that stray bit of hair. And then another eye over here. And there's ovals, aren't they? Just nice big ovals like that. And then we're going to draw her nose, just a little dash here. And then we're going to draw her slightly surprised, sort of bemused expression like that. It's just a little dot for her mouth. And we'll give her some questioning eyebrows up there. Two little curves. Oh, and then we've got to add her ears because they stick out through her hair a bit. So we just draw a little line like that. And then we draw a semicircle. And then a little line. And then another semicircle. And then the final touch is um, Pizazz's, her, well, it's sort of like a mask, isn't it? So the zigzag that goes across Pizazz's face. So we're going to draw another lightning bolt like that there. And then we're going to draw another one underneath the eye. And this one actually cuts through that eye like that. So that's OK. There we go. Oh, and we need to, I nearly forgot. We can see a few of the points of the flash on the back of her cape, which very embarrassingly also has her name on. So that's how you draw pizzazz. Um, and now you can colour her in. Um, and I'd love to see the finished results. Fantastic work all round. Super drawings, everyone. So now you've got your black and white drawing of pizzazz. Maybe you want to get the colours out, colour in. Feel free to freestyle. Um, maybe you can create some evil baddies for her to battle against. Or maybe give her her own comic strip. Um, but whatever you do, I hope you enjoy it. And thank you so much to Moon Lane TV for having me along. Bye.